okay. It is um, day five of my RA flare up and I just wanted to give you guys an update. So the swelling is down on my knees and I am having, I do have a lot of stiffness, but I can walk. Um, I was raking the garden yesterday, so I have some mobility back. Um, I'm not completely limping around, but I am still taking it easy. Um, sometimes my tendency is the minute I start to feel better, I jump right back into my normal routine. And I'm not doing that at this time. I really am taking a break. But um, I, what I have been doing is using that poultice that I made twice a day. The one with the castor oil. Um, i trying to remember what else was in it. Castor oil, nutmeg, cinnamon, turmeric, and the sea salt with the minerals. And what I did... I added to it white willow bark yesterday. Now that has really seemed to kick it up a notch because um, if you don't know, willow bark is a all natural um, pain reliever and muscle relaxer. It's really good for joints and things like that as well. So I've added that to that mixture with the castor oil and I've been doing it about two times a day and that has really seemed to help a lot of the the swelling I'm looking at my knee now I would put it on the video but it's really weird to do that like when you're videoing yourself like how do I show my knee she can't really tell <laughs> So, um, yeah, so definitely my left knee responded quicker, um, because it was less swollen and that one responded even without the willow bark. My right knee, the swelling went down a little bit more and I noticed that I could actually feel my knee. Um, there wasn't like this big, um, puffiness and like hard swollen part um, that I could literally, I could feel the lump <laughs> in my leg between my, my leg and then my knee. So that was starting to go down. And then when I added in the castor oil, then I really did get, you know, I can bend my knee. That big pocket is much smaller and um, like noticeably smaller. And that the part that, that I still do have some swelling is just a little part um, on my knee. So I can't bend my knee, my leg all the way back. Like if I were to stand up and do a quad stretch, I could not get my heel to my bottom, but I can bend it freely without any pain. So I can swing it like up and down, up and down. And if I'm standing, I can bend it about 90 degrees. Um, so much better. <laughs> so I definitely recommend this is, this is what's working for me. Um, and it's an all natural way. Now, the other thing I am doing is I've looked up a lot of things about autoimmune disease and, and foods that can trigger it and that are not, that are really just not good. If you have autoimmune, I have Hashimoto's and I have RA. Um, so I have cut out all sugar, no sugar, <laughs> no refined carbs, so no bread, um, especially, I was already not really eating store-bought bread for a long time, but I just, right now, I'm just not eating any bread at all, not even bread that I make, I'm just staying away from it, um, um and I have to learn how to make sourdough bread, that is the bread that I can probably eat with no issues, and, um, I have not yet learned how to make a sourdough starter. Um, so I'm looking at different ways um, of learning how to do that. And I know it's online. It just seems so daunting. Um, so for now, no bread, no dairy, no cheese. Um, I was already gluten, I was already 
lactose intolerant. Um, so I was not eating dairy. Um, but you know, every now and then I was snacking on some cheese, but, um, I'm not even doing that at all because cheese is, I can handle some cheese a little bit more like sharp cheddar. So now nothing, unless it's goat or sheep and even that for now, for these first few weeks, this first month, I'm not touching it except for goat milk in my tea in the morning. Um, and that's the other thing I am mostly drinking tea. I drink tea twice a day or more. Um, and coffee maybe once or twice a week. Um, I have, and sometimes not even then I've just really cut out the, a lot of coffee. I love coffee. Um, but the concentration of caffeine in coffee is really not good for you. Um, it does have some medicinal value coffee itself. However, tea, especially the, if you're drinking like um, what I'm doing, Earl Grey, I'm doing, um, a black tea that has saffron in it. And then in the afternoons, I'm doing ginger and lemon tea with turmeric. Um, so if you're drinking those really medicinal teas, you're getting, not only are you getting a great drink, you're also getting something that's really good for you. And that's adding medicinal value to your body. Um, so you're getting you're paying for your buck. So, yeah. Um, and let's see, what else am I doing? Um, I really had to pull back on the working out just for, because, you know, I, I couldn't do it, but I did do 20 minutes of weight training. So I'm doing seated workouts. And then for my, for my cardio, I am doing farmer carries back and forth. And then I'm outdoors, you know, in my garden and things like that. So, um, but for my actual like workout workout, I am, you know, just doing seated workouts. So, and things like push ups, um, leg lifts, straight leg lifts for now. And which are, which are like modified fire hydrants, um, things like that to try and keep that mobility. I may do film do like a, a couple of different, um, filmed workouts, which might be helpful, um, for some people because I will look up knee friendly workouts and they are not knee friendly. They're, <laughs> they're like squatting and doing lunges and I'm, you know, for me, sometimes I'm like, well, they're the expert. I'm going to go ahead and, and do this because they're saying this is good for your knees, which I guess it, you know, it is good to have mobility in your knees, but you can get mobility in your knees without doing the squats, without doing the lunges, without doing any workouts which require, which require you to put pressure on your knees. So I guess if you've never had arthritis pain or joint pain, you really have no idea what just even putting body pressure on your knees does. So... I mean, and that can have repercussions that last for, for weeks and, um, it's not fun. So I think I might do a little bit on that and, um, and post that as well. So, all right, I'm going to start my routine. It's early in the morning and I've got to do my, um, my, I don't know, is it a balm? Is it a salve? I don't know. I have to do my rubs on my knees so I can keep the swelling down. All right, have a great day.